Dead by Daylight already has so many iconic horror characters within the game, but there are some missing ones that I think would be great to add. This list of chapters is in no particular order, and I'm not thinking about licensing or rights, so some may be impossible to add to the game. I'm also not thinking about what perks the characters would have and things such as balancing, although I have a few ideas for some perks or features. Without further ado, here's 11 chapters that should be added to Dead by Daylight, or at least the ones that I want to be added. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was a late 90s to early 2000s show about a teenage vampire slayer and her friends created by Joss Whedon. While the show isn't really a horror show, it deals with horror creatures such as werewolves and vampires. I mean, we already have Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead and the Evil Dead series, which is more of a horror comedy similar to Buffy, so I think it could work. For Survivor, Buffy is the obvious choice as she is the protagonist of the show. There could also be legendary sins that could turn to other characters such as Angel or even the librarian Giles. For a killer, the Master, the main villain of the first season, would be cool. He's the oldest vampire to ever live and is a scary looking foe. For a map, Sunnydale High would be a good choice. It might be too similar to Midwitch, but I think it should be less claustrophobic and more open. Also, having the library as the main point of the map would be cool, as it's an important location within the first three seasons of the show. Tony Todd as the Candyman would be an awesome addition to DBD. The Candyman could also be a pretty unique killer as well. He could use bees as a projectile similar to the artist. He could move using mirrors similar to Sadako and her TVs. For a survivor, there isn't really an iconic one. It could be Helen Lyle, the protagonist from the first movie, or Anthony McCoy, the protagonist of the sort of requel one they just did in 2021. For a map, uh, an apartment building in some of the surrounding area of Cab Cabrini Green would make the most sense, although I think this chapter might work better with just Candyman's the Killer and no survivors, such as what they did with Pinhead. Since the long legal battle over the rights of Jason in the franchise was finally resolved in 2021, Jason is finally free to return to the big screen in other media. Jason is one of the most iconic slashers alongside Michael Myers, so having a chapter based around him is a no-brainer. The choice for a survivor is wide, but I think the best choice is Chami Jarvis, as he's the most interesting protagonist from the movies, and his second adult actor, Tom Matthews, has been reprising his role in fan films and other projects, so I think it'd be very easy to get his likeness and voice in the game. For the killer, it'd obviously be Jason. You could have multiple skins like Zombie Jason, Backhead Jason, or even a legendary skin that could transform into Mrs. Voorhees. For the map, Cramp Crystal Lake is the obvious choice. I think it'd work best as a large map with cabins around, but I don't really like large maps, so who knows. Like Buffy, Ghostbusters isn't a straight horror franchise, but a chapter based on it could be really fun. For a killer, the main antagonist of the franchise, Gozer, would be a great choice. It would be neat if she could summon demon dogs, I think that would be a cool power to have. Another choice for a killer that I think would be cool could be Garaka from Frozen Empire, although I think Gozer is more iconic. For survivors slash survivors, any of the original four Ghostbusters would be awesome to have. However, the newer Ghostbusters from the new movies would be cool as well, just, you know, not as cool. For a map, they could have Egon's farmhouse from Afterlife, the New York Public Library or something else. I think the best choice for a map would be the firehouse that the Ghostbusters operate out of. It'd be pretty cool to have a map that's like sort of small, but has six levels. Pennywise the Clown is the most iconic horror clown out there, and would fit right in with the tone of DVD. For Survivor, we could have any adult version of the kids from it, although I think Bill Denver would make the most sense as he's arguably the main character and has a strong connection to Pennywise. Obviously, the killer would be Pennywise. I think it'd be cool if he could somehow use sewers to get around, like how the xenomorph and Demogorgon can kind of teleport. Also, using the balloons in some way to lure survivors would be awesome. For a map, I have a few ideas. I think the Well House, aka the house on Neibolt Street, would be a great choice, as it's a main location in both films as well as the book. In the movie, the entrance to Pennywise's lair is through the basement of the house, so having the basement in the map be the lair would be really cool. Okay, before you say anything, hear me out. Since Chucky was added, it opened up the door for different sized killers, and well, Leprechaun would be a good choice, I, I think. I'm aware the franchise is bad, but come on, you gotta admit, being chased around by this thing would be hilarious. You could have powers like throwing gold at people. I don't know, honestly, I just think this chapter would be really funny. For Survivor, I guess the protagonist from the first movie, Tori, would be the most obvious choice, but I doubt Jennifer Aniston would want to give her likeness or voice for this. I think it'd be more likely that Mark Holton's character Ozzy would be the survivor, as he reprised his role from the first movie in 2018, so he seems more likely to participate in a leprechaun thing. For a map, I honestly don't know. Maybe the, <laughs> the hood or something. <laughs>
Also, his Mori should just be him rapping, and the survivor just, like, kills himself so they don't have to hear it anymore. With the Xenomorph coming into the game, it made me want to have the Predator as well. I think the Predator could work as a better Skull Merchant, at least in terms of the tech, but hopefully the Predator would actually be fun to play against and play as. Predator could use traps, his tech like heat vision, maybe some form of invisibility, similar to how they did it in Fortnite, where you can see the effect of the cloaking device to make it more balanced. The Predator's skin potential is also very vast, as the different types and looks of Predators across the movie, such as the Berserker Predator or the one from Prey, would be awesome to play as. For a survivor, I think characters such as Dutch or Dylan would be the best choice. However, I'm leaning more towards Dylan due to another franchise that I want in the game that will be listed later in the video. For a map, I think the jungle from the first movie of The Force from Prey would be a great choice, although I think the jungle is more unique and would be better uh, change up from the different maps we have already in DBD. Psycho is one, if not, the most iconic horror film of all time, and its twist and killer are known by horror fans across the world. Norman Bates as the killer for this chapter is the obvious choice. I think he could be like a stealth killer, maybe he could have some sort of disguise mechanic, you know, because in the movie he pretends to be his mom. For a survivor, Marion Crane, Lila Crane, Sam Loomis, or Milton Arbogast would all be good choices. Again, I think this chapter might just work better as just a killer with nothing else. For a map, the Bates Motel, you know, would be an obvious choice as, you know, it's the main location of the movie. While Silence of the Lambs is different than the other media I listed on this list, I think it would still be cool to have Hannibal Lecter in game. Hannibal Lecter would probably be a stealth killer similar to Ghostface and Myers. For Survivor, Clarice Starling would be a great choice, but Will Graham from Mindhunter slash Red Dragon would also be a good choice. But if they did use Will, I'd prefer the Mindhunter version, as he's just, I don't know, better than Edward Norton. Sorry, I just, yeah, sorry Edward. Tried your best. Hopefully. For a map, the asylum Hannibal is held in Silence of the Lambs would be a great map. It would be claustrophobic and indoors, which would be great for the horror setting of DBD. Having the T-800 in DBD would be awesome. Having Arnold voice the role would be a plus as well. The Terminator could use ranged weapons, along with things like him being resistant to stuns, like base kit, that could be kinda cool. His skin potential is pretty good as well. You could have him become an exoskeleton, T-1000, or whatever the hell the model in the third one was called. The survivor would be obviously Sarah Connors. For a map, the apocalyptic future would be a cool change of pace compared to other maps in the game. Since Stranger Things returned to DVD, I've been wanting a new chapter based on the show. A chapter based on season 4 of the show would be awesome. For a survivor, we could have Eddie, Robin, or pretty much any character. For the killer, Vecna would be the obvious choice. Vecna would be so menacing, and he already kind of has an obvious Mori. You know, his weird bone snapping thing that he does on, you know, the kid's... I don't know what it's called. For the map, the Creel House is the obvious choice, as it's the most important le location in the season, as it's the center of Vecna's power. Vecna's power could be similar to Freddy's, bringing the survivor into another dimension, and the survivor maybe would have to escape like Max did, like a little minigame. This is the most likely chapter to happen in this list, so I do hope it happens someday. That's the end of my list. Some of these concepts would work better in the game than others, but I think all of them could work in the game and be fun to have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and what chapters, killers, or survivors you would like to be added as well. Have a great day and see you next time.